Hello, and welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking about what I hate about Libra. So, Libra, I'm going to start this video off by just doing a little disclaimer. Um, you are not just your sun sign. You are not just the Libra sun sign. You have more facets. You have more parts of your personality and parts of your astrology. There's so many other things. There's the moon, Venus, Mars, Mercury, um, Jupiter, Saturn, um, Uranus. All, there's all those planets. And then you have aspects. And then you have your ascendant. And then you have your asteroids. Like You have so many, so many things um, affect your astrology besides your sun sign. Um, so there's more things for me to hate on, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just need to put that disclaimer out there. Um, I did make a video about the moon sign, so I'm going to link that in my description below. If you know your moon sign, watch it. If you don't know your moon sign, look up your moon sign and then watch it. Um, it goes more in depth about each moon sign. I will be doing more moon sign videos in the future, um, but as of right now, yeah, that's that's just my, my spiel. I just need to say that because I don't want people being like, I'm not like a Libra, and people always say I'm like Libra. Well, that's probably because you have a stellium in another planet, which is just a bunch of, or in another sign, which is just a bunch of those planets in that sign, so you're more of that sign than you are the Libra. So just, you know, just don't hate me because I'm, like, bashing on you, but this is why I don't like Libra signs. Let's get started. So, Libras. First of all, you're really vain, like really vain. Um, because you're ruled by Venus, a lot of the aesthetics and your fashion and stuff really matters to you, um, and you could get really self-absorbed in that, um, and really just wanting to look good for other people. And a lot of the time, like Aries does things for himself, Libra does things for other people. Um, so you do a lot of that stuff to please other people. You're a people pleaser, which can get really annoying. Um, because if you keep chasing people's approval as a Libra, you're never gonna get it, because that's not the way it works. You have to get the approval from yourself first. And that's hard, because you're a Libra, and your, your natural area that you shine in is other people. That's like what it is. But there, that's the reason why the sun does not do well in Libra. It is not in a good dignity. Um, because Libra's, the sun is not supposed to be focused on, like, the other person. It's supposed to be focused on the self. Like, the sun represents the self and the ego. And then having that in a sign that's all about other people is annoying. And is bad. it's not bad, but it's just, it's harder for that sun to be sunny and to be bright, you know? Um, Libras can be fake. They can be fake because they, and this is kind of like how they're with, with Gemini um, as well. They can be fake because they they are a people pleaser. Like I said, they want to make people happy. So they'll say whatever they have to say to get someone happy. And they will be really fake to you and just kind of waste your time. <laughs> um, like they will, they'll just pretend they're friends with you. Um, and then when it's not convenient for them anymore, then they're just going to leave you. Um, or when you stop putting in the effort, um, they're just going to not be there. And they're just not, they're not, normally they would put in the effort, but I have met Libras who are on like the other side of the spectrum because they, because Libra is, Libra is the seventh sign in the first house. If you're using solar astrology, um, so that means that their personality, their first house, is centered around other people. Um, so normally they would be caring about other people, but sometimes you find Libras that only use people for like very um, superficial reason reasons. They could be very superficial and they could use people just because they want to have a good time and they don't really want to have deep connections with people. They're not really about that. That's all the next sign, Scorpio. Like Scorpio is all about deep connections. Um, but Libras are like, just want to have a good time and party and just, they don't care who they bring with as long as they have a good time. They don't really care about that depth. 
Um, so, like I said, they could easily just use you for your time and your energy until eventually they just, like, don't put in the effort because you're not being superficial. You're trying to be deep and you're trying to connect and they don't want that. They, they just want someone who isn't, like, someone who they don't have to put much effort into the friendship. That's Libra. Lib Libras do that. They want someone that doesn't take much effort because they're lazy. And they and they just, like, with friends, they're very superficial. Now, when it comes to a partner, Libras tend to be a lot more positive because they can invest a lot of themselves. And that's what they're really good at is investing their energy into other people. But a lot of the time when they do that, guess what? They lose their friends because they're too focused on their partnership that they don't give time to the people that have been there for them, for their friends, so they, they don't do that. Um, Libras, you, you, you gotta start, like, the best advice I could give you is to put yourself first, but also make sure that you're not neglecting other people. Um, and also, in addition to that, make sure that you're not neglecting yourself, and that you're not overindulging in other people. Because, and I know that sounds weird to say both of those, but Libras, because you are on that first and seventh house axis um, with Aries and Libra, you have that um, innate like desire to merge with somebody and to have partnerships, and that's where you shine, um, where you're supposed to shine. So make sure that you find that right balance, because there is a right balance. There's a good middle ground, but you have to make sure that you're not so focus on yourself that you're neglecting all your friends and you're neglecting your partnerships that you really care about but then in the same vein you have to make sure that you're not overindulging in partnerships and not taking time for yourself to take care of yourself because ultimately at the end of the day you're the one that has to deal with what you've done for that day um so if you spent it all day spending time with fake ass friends that's your own fault so you gotta you gotta put you gotta put some rules up so make sure that you find a balance. Um, Libras, this isn't, I'm not really bashing on Libras. I'm more like giving life advice to Libras, really. Um, but honestly, Libras, they're really vain. They're really superficial. They're really fake. Um, like I said, they can only use friends because it makes them look good and makes them feel good and gives them what they want. And once you get, once they get what they want, they're done with you. And if you ask for anything more, they don't know what to do and they just can't react. Um, so yeah, Libras are very, they're very petty. Um, they're over the top sometimes. Um, so yeah, Libras, you gotta, you gotta just be chill and just be more, find that balance. I'm not gonna say it again, I'm not gonna go through the giant spiel again, but be that balance that you're supposed to be. You are supposed to be the balance sign. So focus on you, but also focus on other people because that's what you're good at. That's where you're supposed to shine. You were given that sun sign for a reason. So make sure that you do that. Um, Libras, Libras, just, just, just find a balance. That's all you really need to do. So this wasn't really a what I hate about Libra because I couldn't really bash the sign that much. Um, but I know that there, there are people that hate Libras, um, and I don't really hate them. Um, I just find them to be very emotionless sometimes because they are an air sign, so they don't have that emotional nature like a water sign would. Um, so they they can be emotionless a little bit and not really um, like care really, and they're very superficial and fake and just like to talk a lot um so yeah so that's what i hate about libra so anywho um if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below i put out new videos all the time um i do astrology videos language videos in spanish and japanese and i'm going to be adding frances eventually mom eventually um i do music videos. Once I get my keyboard set up, I'm going to be doing more music stuff. Um, what else? Yeah. And I do business videos and like life update videos and stuff like that. 
Um, I will be, will be putting out more videos, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified. If you like this video, put a like down below. Um, it would mean a lot to me. It'd be great. Um, so yeah, and then I down in the description box, I have a link to two of my playlists of my videos. One is my Spirituality A to Z series that I did. Um, and then another one is my Jupiter Saturn series, which another is another another astrology based series. Um, and then I also link down below the moon sign video. So if you are interested in deepening your knowledge about astrology, make sure you find out your moon sign because that opens up so much more and makes you understand so much more about yourself. So I did do a moon sign video. So the link is down below. If you don't know your moon sign, look it up and come back to this video or that video, I guess I should say. And then if you do, do know your moon sign, watch the video because guess what? Like you'll learn more, you learn more and you get to watch me entertain you with this screen and my, my arms. I don't know what I'm doing. Anywho, um, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.